here. Checking your meter. Bit of leftovers. <laughs> Good morning. As Corrie's Bethany makes a dramatic comeback, actress Lucy Fallon tells me why she felt uneasy about the return. Now, brace yourselves, because my next guest is making an explosive return to the cobbles this new year. And I'm going to set up my laptop and do some work. Wi-Fi's not actually up and running yet. Well, you don't need Wi-Fi to type. In fact, Daniel says all you need is pencil, paper and perspective. Well, don't go spilling that on your keyboard. It's supposed to be service with a smile, not a scowl. Haven't had loads to smile about since you walked up. It's Jenny in. It might just be nice to be served by someone who doesn't require a muzzle. <laughs> I'm actually in charge. <laughs> no wonder the place is dead. Oh, it's tense already. <laughs> Lucy Fallon, who plays Bethany, of course, uh, joins me now. Wow, how exciting for you to be back. I know, I know, honestly. The best decision that I've ever made going back, it's just the best place to work and some of my best friends work on that show. So, yeah, I'm just so happy. Was it nerve-wracking to go back as well? It was, it was. It was like the first day back at school. It felt like I'd had... I'd had, well, I'd had nearly four years away from the show and then going back, I was like, am I going to know my lines? Are people going to remember who I am when, like, I walk into the building? People will be like, who is this girl? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I was super nervous, but after a couple of days, it just felt like I'd never been away. And I know you won't be able to give too much away, but tell us a little bit about what Bethany's been up to. Can you tell us that? Yeah, so she's uh, been pursuing a journalism career in London mm -hmm. and she kind of gets forced to come back. I can't really say why, you'll have to watch. Um, yeah, she gets forced to come back to Weatherfield and falls straight away into uh, the trap of Daniel, uh, which causes quite a lot of problems between her and Daisy. Lots of drama. And, and Daniel, as we saw a little bit earlier, is pretty surprised. Yeah, he is, yeah. Well, I think in the time that she's been away, they've actually not spoken at mm -hmm. all. I think the last time Bethany was on the street, they sort of ended things with Daniel proposing to Bethany but saying the wrong name. Yeah, which like is, her. I mean, just like the most super awkward Yeah, thing like the Ra Rachel and Ross yeah. uh, thing uh, from Friends. But yeah, so he said the wrong name. Bethany left, she went to London. So I don't think they've spoken to each other since then. And then she's come back on the street and, uh, yeah, fallen back into there straight away. <laughs> and how's it... I mean, you're going to have a pretty feisty time, I'm imagining. Yes, you? definitely. There's going to be a lot of drama between Bethany and Daisy. They go head-to-head -head a lot, which has actually been really fun to play because I get on with Charlie, uh, who plays Daisy, uh, really well. So, yeah, it's been nice to play that, um, like, the little head-to-head -head thing with her. And do you like that? Do you like having kind of difficult scenes like that to play. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, obviously, the last time Bethany was there, she went through an awful lot. She was groomed, yeah. she was bullied, she had uh, diet pills, all loads of uh, horrible things going on. Um, and it kind of got to the point where it's like, it was like, how much, like, what else can happen to um, this girl? And now I think that she's gone away. And obviously, for Bethany, I would like nice things to happen to her. But for me, I want some horrible things to happen to it. I can't lie. Is that what you want as an actor? <laughs> yeah. You want difficult bits? Yeah, you want the... I, I like doing the juicy stuff, the stuff you can, like, sink your teeth into. So, yeah, yeah it, would, it would be nice, not for Bethany, but for me. And viewers, I mean, on a programme like that, they must think that you're kind of part of their family as well. Yeah, yeah, it does get a bit like that. I think, you know, the, the viewers are very loyal to Coronation Street. They watch three episodes, hour episodes a week. Um, so, yeah, I think they feel like they're your part of their little family set up, their living room, which is nice, though. And they'll be so glad to have you back. Um, since you've been away, you've got a little boy. I do. Sonny. Yeah, oh, he's just gorgeous. He's just gorgeous. He's, um, he's nearly one now, I can't believe it. Um, but, yeah, it's so nice. We have such a lovely little set up, me, Ryan and Sonny, yeah. a good little team. And look at him in the yoga. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Little Yoda, yeah. He's and it'll gorgeous. be so he's just coming up to one. He is, isn't he? yeah, yeah. It's been it's been really nice though. Like obviously it is a juggle. It's a huge juggle. Um, trying to figure out where he's going to be at what time when I have to be at work at seven and Ryan's got to go to football yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. So it is a juggle, but it's been really nice. It's kind of like I I've got a little bit of my old self back, which I think sometimes you can lose when you have a baby. So it, it has been nice. Having gone back to work, and it's his yeah. first Christmas, presumably, isn't it? Yeah, yes, it's his first Christmas. I'm very excited, yeah. Yeah, we're having uh, Christmas with my family this year, so, yeah, it's going to be really nice. You don't nice. have to do the Christmas cooking. Oh, no, no, thank you. That isn't that. <laughs> Actually, I am in charge of potatoes. 
that's a bit. That's a big that's thing. Quite, that is a big commitment as well, because I feel like potatoes are the best bit. Roast so how potatoes. are you going to do it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to have to prep on Christmas Eve or something. I don't know. How so in charge of roast potatoes. And you, you were watching Strictly because, of course, Ellie, you used to share a dressing room with yeah, her, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we did. We shared a dressing room with each other. Oh, look at her. Yeah, I'm just, I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of her. She did amazing. And, you know, like, I think we all knew exactly what Ellie was like and um, how lovely and amazing she is. And it's so nice that everybody else has got to see that. And she well. talked about it a lot um, on her journey, mm. as we call it, don't yeah. we? About being really shy. And she was, yeah, wasn't she? Yeah. She, well, I think I think the show has just um, like encouraged her to really come out of her shell, and that's exactly what she's done. That's like the Ellie that we all know and we all love. So yeah, it's so nice that everybody else has got to see that as well. Absolutely. Do you get to share a dressing room with someone now? Or? Um, currently, actually, there's a, a bit of a, an issue going oh, on. Oh, go on. I'm, um, I'm actually on my own, but I don't have my dressing room at the moment. Oh, uh, I don't, I... I'm not. I've not. I've not got a house yet, so uh, <laughs> they're still trying to find a place. For well, me. now you've said it. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully they'll go and yeah, find you one. Caroline. If you're watching, get me a dressing room. <laughs> Listen, it's lovely to see you. Very good luck. Oh, thank you so thank much. You it looks much. like it's going to be fun. Thank and you. Coronation Street continues tomorrow night, 8 p.m. on ITV1.